everyone and welcome to my February book haul. This haul will include both the books that I bought during February as well as the books that I took out from the library during February. I have 10 books with me right now and I also have a box that I got in the mail from Book Outlet which I haven't opened yet and I'm not exactly sure how many books are in there. I ordered twice from Book Outlet. One I already opened, it had three books in it. And I placed another order after that on President's Day sale. Um, because they had like 15 off the whole website and then I got a $5 coupon in my email. Probably I bought more books than I should have. Anyway, let's get into it. The first book that I bought in February was The Sailor Who Fell From Grace With The Sea by Yukio Mishima. In case you guys don't know by now, Conrad from Just A Dust Jacket, who is one of my favorite booktubers and one of the booktubers that I discovered first on booktube, created a Goodreads book club where everyone's going to be reading modern classics and classics and we're going to be discussing a book a month and the first book was this one not only was i already planning on making the video about the japanese madness series i also really love his channel and the insight he has in books and i really wanted to read nishima anyway so i decided to join the group and hopefully have a lot of really interesting discussions this book is about a group of young boys in Japan that completely disregard any society rules. But this one I'm going to definitely be reading next month and I'm going to be posting a review as well in the Japanese Madness series, so stay tuned for that. That was probably one of the extensive purchases. Um, I got it from Amazon. Then I bought three books from Goodwill. I bought The Razor's Edge by W. Somerset Mom. I read a couple of books by Somerset Mom, like The Painted Veil, and I can't remember another one, but I read them when I was around 14 and I really liked them. I haven't read any of his stuff since then, but I'm really looking forward to this one. Then another book I found in Goodwill. You could really find some good gems in Goodwill if you dig. I got The White Tiger by Erevind Aziga. I know this is a man Booker Price winner. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, particularly when I was doing the Continent Readathon last year. If I'm not mistaken, this is from India. And the last really great gem that I found in Goodwill in super crisp condition was The Regulators by Richard Bachman, who is actually Stephen King. This is the first edition. I mentioned in my previous haul that I'm trying to collect all the first edition Stephen Kings despite being one of the least practical things I've ever done. Speaking of Stephen King first editions, I also found three Stephen King first editions in the library section where they sell books. The first one I got is Hearts in Atlantis. The second one I got is Nightmares and Dreamscapes, which is a short story collection. And the last one is Doctor Sleep, which is a sequel of Shining. And I read Shining like two years ago maybe and I really really liked it. Next up I have the book outlet books that I got. I got an order before the President's Day sale because they only had like one book in stock and I really wanted all three of them. The first book I bought is Hell House by Richard Matheson which is in one of my bookmarks with 54 books to read before you die. The next one is a collection of novellas. It is The Diving Pool by Yoko Ogawa. It's a translation from Japanese and it has three novellas and I've never read anything by Yoko Ogawa and I'm so excited to read this. And the last one that I have is Nanjing Regviem by Ha Jin about the Japanese invasion of Nanjing. Also, I have a big box from Book Outlet. I don't really do unboxings because I don't really order that many books. I really forgot what is in here. So let's see. Oh, I forgot about that book. So the top three books in the box, I actually did not remember ordering. The first one is called Foreign Bodies and it is written by Hu Hu Tan. I think this is a Taiwanese author. Um, I remember ordering it now. No, it's it's set in Singapore, so I think it's a Singaporean author. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I do have a thing for Asian books and Asian culture, so I do try to grab every Asian book that I can find. I don't really want to read the whole back, but it's something along the lines of exploring the differences between the Singaporean pop culture and the traditional values, and I guess people caught in between that, so sounds interesting. Asian craziness, I got everything Asian 
by Sung J. Woo. I think this is Korean. Yes, I remember. This is about a young boy who moves from Korea to the States and he can't really speak proper English and he has a hard time adapting to the life there. I think this made me think of American Born Chinese when I saw it and I really liked that graphic novel so I think that's why I picked it up. Another one that I had completely forgotten I bought is What Was She Thinking? Notes on a Scandal by Zoe Heller. I remember Hannah from Craving Books mentioned this book last year. I think this is about a teacher who has an affair with a student or at least has um, a, an interest in one of her students or a teacher that just has an attraction to students in general, something along those lines. It sounds really interesting. Next up, I got a bunch of horror novels. I got The Exorcist by William Peter Blady. Everyone knows The Exorcist. I've only watched a movie and I heard that this book is terrifying. The next horror novel that I got is Children of the Night by Dan Simmons. I have not read anything by Dan Simmons before. I've heard the name but never read anything by him. The reason I bought this book is because it is set in a desolate orphanage in post-communist Romania and it has to do with the legendary leader Vlad Tsepish, the original Dracula and Tsepish is really misspelled on the back of this book. Most of you already know I am from Romania and alongside with being interested in reading books written by Romanian authors I always get a kick of reading books about Romania written through the perspective of foreigners um, especially the horror ones. I actually had someone ask me once I still think it was for real if we really drink blood in Romania or we have some sort of vampirical affiliations and to this day, I don't know if that person was serious or not. I really love seeing that mentioned in movies and books because it really makes me laugh to think that some people genuinely believe that there's a lot of vampire history in Romania. Another Asian slash horror novel is The Ghost of Bright by Yang Tse Cho. The author is Malaysian of Chinese descent. I remember entering on a Goodreads giveaway for this some time long ago, but I hardly ever win giveaways, so I ended up buying it. Oh! I totally forgot I ordered this. This is Smoke Gets In Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematory by Caitlin Dotty. I heard this mentioned a few times last year. It started off with Hannah again from Craving Books. You could tell where I get a lot of recommendations from Booktube. This is a nonfiction about how people perceive death. Next up, I have three more Asian novels. I have No Man's Land by Dong Tu Hong. This is a Vietnamese author. Um, I haven't read anything from Vietnam before, so super excited. I really don't know what this is about. It's so tiny. The title makes it look really cute and so does the cover. Oh look, it has illustrations. This is really cute. And another Japanese book by Yoko Ogawa, The Housekeeper and the Professor. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I have really no idea what it is about. I assume it's about a housekeeper and a professor. A beautiful story about family, memory, and math. Okay, I'm not gonna read more. That was the whole book outlet order. Next up, really quick, I have the books that I checked out from the library this month. I've made it a policy not to check out fiction from the library anymore because I have so many books that I need to read unless there's a buddy read or a read along that I need to get it for. Apart from that, I'm only going to be getting graphic novels. So from the library, I got five books and they're all graphic novels. The first one is Pyongyang, A Journey in North Korea by Guy De Lizzle. This is pretty much a look at North Korea. The next one that I got is Shortcomings by Adrian Tomine. I believe this is a Japanese-American author. 
and this is about a man who has a huge identity crisis between being of Japanese ethnicity and living in the US. I've watched a really good review of this on Marissa's from Little Spiders channel. I'll leave it linked down below. The next one is Super Mutant Magic Academy. I believe this is a middle grade graphic novel. I don't do that great with middle grade literature, but this is written by Jillian Tamaki who is a Japanese Canadian author and because of my Japanese Madness series I figured I would give it a go just to see what it's about and let you guys know what I think. The last two graphic novels I had never heard of before but I felt super compelled to get them when I saw them. The first is my friend Damer. This is about Jeff Damer, the serial killer. The author apparently went to school with Jeff Damer and he writes it through his perspective of how kids in Damer's class perceive Jeff Damer and it sounds really really interesting. And the last graphic novel that I got looks so interesting, it's called Fatherland and it is written by Nina Bunievac. The opening sentence on the back says, standing alongside Marianne Satrapi's Persepolis in Joe Sacco's Palestine, Nina Bunievac's fatherland renders the searing history of the Balkans in the 20th century through the experiences of the author and her family. I absolutely loved Persepolis when I read it last year and anything that people would say that stands alongside Persepolis I will read. And the art looks really good. These are all the books that I got in February. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. And um, I will see you back with another video very soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day. Bye.